Yo guys, what's up? Fierce and Fire. I know this is kind of weird, but pretty much I was looking through my computer and I found a bunch of old streams that had like a bunch of funny moments which I never highlighted. So I decided to throw them all together into one video that I could just upload on YouTube. So pretty much every single clip in here is really funny. This first one is me reacting to a bunch of old videos I had of myself while working at Toys R Us. I hope that you enjoy. It's honestly, it's really stupid. You'll see. <laughs> I hope you die. Dude, this right here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, not not the bow, not the pogo stick. Okay guys, you ready for fearsome being an idiot? <laughs> How did I not fall? How did I not fall? Look at this. I was being chased by a little kid with a pool noodle. <laughs> Harry's favorite word was peener or something, and he's like, oh, it's Odyssey. And like, Harry, yeah, that's what you have with other men every day. He's like, I'm not old enough to be with other men yet. <laughs> it's really important that you know what he said, because that's like the key part of everything right now. Harry's favorite word is peener. peener. And he's like, oh, it's I'm like, no, it's Odyssey. This is like, before Odyssey came out, I, guys, I always talked about Odyssey. You don't understand how hyped I was about Odyssey before the game even came out. When I saw the freaking reveal trailer, all I ever did at work was just talk about Odyssey and go in the back and look at the Odyssey trailer. Like, I talked about Odyssey all the time. He asked me what my favorite word was. I said it was Odyssey, okay? Odyssey? <laughs> like, Harry, yeah, that's what you have with other men He said, night. that's what I have with other men every night. I'm like... He's like, I'm not old enough to be... I'm like, I'm not old enough for other men yet. For other men yet? <laughs> It combines Odyssey, which is a meme now, with me being gay, which is another meme, which happened before, I don't even know. <laughs> I tried to scum the claw machine, bro. I straight up was trying to get this unicorn. I don't know if you can see it very well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Poland, pin, pin, pull. Pull, pull, pull. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm such a buffoon. I'm literal garbage, dude. And you lose all your subscribers. Listen, my brother has more subscribers than me. I'm not worried about that. He has 26 subscribers. He has 26 subscribers. That's not a lot. Yeah, a lot. I have 11. I have 11. Back when I had 11 subs, dude. I had 11 subscribers. Things have changed. <laughs> I fell. Could it get any worse? I can't get back. I'm like falling. I can't get it to start again. <laughs> How did I not fall here? I'm literally like freaking, oh my gosh, bro. If that was Dan the man, he would have fallen. Let's be real. I don't think I was adopted. I think I was switched at birth. Like, cause I, I was talking to my mom. Cause I've asked my parents many, many times. Like, am I adopted? Like be straight up with me right now. I look nothing like either of my parents, right? They promised me that I'm not adopted. Cause all my cousins used to meme on me. They're like, oh, you're adopted. You know, he's like the adopted, you know, whatever. No, they don't have pictures of me at birth, by the way. I have never seen the pictures of me at birth. Let me tell you something. Actually, this is real. I'm not even kidding you. My parents, my entire life have told me about this fire that they had in their freaking house at, when I was a baby, okay? And in this fire that happened at my house, a single wall caught on fire. All my baby pictures were like hung up on this wall and they all are gone and they all burned down. I'm not even kidding. I swear to God in my life. My parents don't have any other kids like besides me. You know, there's no pictures of me. It's really sus, dude. It's And I don't look like my parents either. It's really sus. Oh my God, you're right guys. It's over. Oh my gosh, I'm actually adopted. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm totally adopted. It makes so much sense. Oh my gosh, I'm totally adopted. I could be. I called my friend last night, like FaceTime or whatever. No, he called me. He was like, yo dude, what's up? He was talking, you know, he was just chilling. He just wanted to talk for a little bit. At the end of our call, he's like, yo dude, I love you. I'm like, bro, I love you too, no homo. And he does, a he's, he's there. I, I say, I love you too, no homo. And he laughs, he's like, dude, you're like the gayest person I know. And then he just hangs up on me. And I'm like, what do you mean? I am not gay. Oh my gosh, it's so. He's like, what are you doing? Oh my gosh. He's like, you're the gayest person I know. Just hangs up. I'm like, why? I'm like, why? I'm like, why he baited me, dude? I got baited. That's not fair. My mother's calling me. All right, it's actually really important that I take this. I'm gonna mute myself and turn off my face cam so I can talk to my mom. Yeah, all right. No, the... 
Those magazines weren't mine. They were just they were just a friend's. They well, I'm telling you, right? It's not what it seems like. They weren't. All right, love you. Bye. <laughs> I had to. <laughs> Have I ever kissed a girl? Define girl. <laughs> I just like spit on my keyboard. What the hell, dude? I'm literally like I can't even keep my my like saliva in my own mouth. It's just so hard, dude. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't even realize what I was saying. I say gay things without even trying. I can't even keep my saliva in my mouth. It's just so hard. Oh my gosh. I swear, I'm not even trying to do this. It just happens. It's just like, it just be like that. It's just my life. It's just the way it is. Oh, I'm popping off. I mean, <coughs> I was popping off, and then I choked. I actually have, have an even better idea of doing this entire thing. I just thought of. I'm not even gonna lie. Warping back doesn't work, guys. Trust me. <laughs> that actually worked! Dude, you know, it's kind of weird, like, having divorced parents and being an only child. I'm not gonna lie. I have, like, half-siblings, you know? I don't have, like, any real siblings. Like, full siblings, obviously. And it's weird being the only one. It really is. Because, like, nobody else can relate. It's only you. You're all alone. I remember when I was a kid, dude, I always wished that there would be somebody else there to, like, experience all the bullshit I had to go through with me. So I mean to play like video games with me so I didn't have to freaking play Mario Party like by myself every time I played Mario Party against the CPU. I remember I, I, I bought a second Wii remote and I and I played Galaxy 2 co-op by myself. I was a kid and I, and I was I always asked my parents, I was like, Mom, Dad, please just stop fighting, just play with me for one minute. They said no. I was like, is there anything you can do for me? Anything at all? all I want. I remember I asked them. I was like, the only thing that would make me happy is if you used Amazon Prime to subscribe to me for free on Twitch. And they didn't even do that for me. If only somebody could do <laughs> If only. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Thank you, J-Dactyl. You know, you did what my parents couldn't do. <laughs> I was a junior. I had this Italian class with like all freshmen. And just because I was a junior, all the freshmen thought I was a cool, thought I was cool, which was a big mistake because I, I wasn't at all. But you know, just, you know, because I, I was like two years above them, all I had to do was just like, you know, stay quiet and like, you know, act kind of cool. And they thought I was cool, right? So I had like this persona to keep up throughout this entire class. And I'm not the coolest person, so that's kind of rough for me, you know? It was a lot of pressure. By the way, this is a sick attempt. That was mad close. Okay. So another thing to note is that during this time, I was working at Toys R Us. And I had, you know, at Toys R Us, I always brought, like, a knife in to, like, cut boxes with. Right? Um, they gave us box cutters, but I, have, I had, like, a separate knife that I would use. And one day, I had, to, I had to go to work after school, so I just, like, put the knife in my backpack. Like, whatever. I brought it to school, and in the middle of my class, you know, these kids were, like, you know around me they were talking to me these freshman kids I was like what if I just like bring out a knife right now right like I had it in my pocket for some reason and I didn't even know I didn't even bring it out but this one kid like is like talking trash right so I look at him I give him this stare I reach into my pocket and I pull out the knife <laughs> and he's like whoa 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 calm down and like all these other kids are like holy shit he's like a knife and like and the teacher was like out of the class like when I did this but the freaking like all the kids were like freaking out <laughs> looked at me 
But they thought I was such a badass dude, it was amazing. All these freshman kids thought I was such a badass because I brought out this knife. This other guy in the background was like, yo, dude, you better not you better not F with him. Like, I got so much clout for that. It was amazing. I got mad clout. Everybody's like, oh, you know, don't bring a knife to school. Don't bring a knife to school. It's a really stupid idea. And I never understood why, dude. It's like, oh, like you might get in trouble, but it doesn't make any sense, dude. Like, like, let, like let's be real here. Dude, if you have a if you bring a knife to school. What's the worst that can happen? What if like a teacher sees you with a knife, like, oh, give it to me. It's like, no, I'm not gonna give it to you. Like, I have a knife. Like, I don't need to give you my knife. Like, you don't have a knife. If you have a knife, you're you have an advantage over somebody else. I don't know. Like, what's the point? Like, why not just bring a knife to school? I don't know. I mean, that was my point. Like, I because I had a friend that would tell me not to. He said it was a really stupid idea. I was like, bro, like I said, I'm the one with the knife, not them. As long as I'm not an idiot with it, which I wasn't even an idiot with it. Like, yeah, I like messed around with it a lot, and but like it wasn't even that bad. I wasn't even that stupid with the knife. It was it was fine. I'm all right. I'm not condoning you guys bringing a knife to school. Don't bring a knife to school. I'm telling you that right now. All right. Gosh dang it. Don't bring your knife to school. All right. Don't do what I did. <laughs> the only reason that I brought my knife to school was because I was trying to be cool and it worked. Like I brought a knife to school and everybody thought I was cool. So, but being cool is stupid. All right. Yes. If you bring a knife to school, everybody's going to think you're a really cool person, but being cool is dumb, dude. Like don't try to be cool. It's not worth it. All right. So don't bring your knife to school.